Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to discuss about the latest release of Automation Anywhere, which is A360 V34 and the build version is 26332. We'll see what are the new features available for us in this latest release. So I have divided this uh, video into four segments and I'll, I'll be talking about these four specific topics related to API tasks, document automation, autopilot and AI agent studio. Apart from these, there are few other updates also, which you can follow from the release notes of automation anywhere. So let's dive in to API tasks. You can use AI skills in API task. AI skills is one of the important component of AI agent studio. If you use AI skill in your API task, it will make your agents work faster and more efficiently. So that, that feature is now available for you to use. You can save money and do more with your uh, automations. It also let you connect to different AI models in a controlled way. So this is how you leverage AI skills within your processes. All these features mostly which we are talking about related to AI are only available to cloud customers and it requires enterprise platform license. The next thing is within API task, in COE Manager, COE Manager is one of the component which helps you to track ROI, benefit realization, all that stuff. I'll, I'll create a dedicated video on this COE Manager component. For now, let's understand COE Manager is a product from Automation Anywhere, which helps you to measure your automations, uh, the success, benefit realization, the ROI calculation, all that stuff. So COE Manager now has unique feature that shows you how much money you are saving by using API tasks. You can see all that in real time. Once you have, you just have to integrate, plug and play your API task and onboard it onto COI Manager, which is just an API integration. Now coming to document automation. There are a couple of updates in this release for DA. First is the navigation has changed now. Whether you are using Community Edition or Enterprise Edition, you see this icon. Document automation is available under the heading called AI. Then there are support provided for the new regions. New regions are added for Gen AI providers. Uh, Microsoft OpenAI and Anthropic, then Australia and India regions are included and in for OpenAI, Australia, Canada and Japan and India uh, are added. Then we have field level validation feedback enabled. You can now choose whether you want to show or don't show the error messages when user fills out the form or tables, table fields incorrectly. This is helpful when you don't need error messages for certain fields or when you are using different tools to check the data. Support for new languages uh, is added. Seven new languages are added when you use user-defined document type and Automation Anywhere user-defined provider. Then we have support for longer prompts now. Earlier, it was limited to certain characters, but now the, the length has been increased to 1000 characters. You can provide your prompt within 1000 characters now. This enables you to provide more information, and more context around your questions and uh, around like help you to extract better from the document. Then coming to Autopilot, it was a feature released in 33 previous version. And now you got BPMN support so for example if you have a pdd or your process flow diagram you can use autopilot then autopilot assess that and it builds a workflow automation workflow for you it uses ai capabilities and quickly creates the flow for you so that you can start from there so you can imp import your existing business process diagrams and definitely this should be in a defined structure this autopilot tool will automatically create the outline of the process. Again, this feature is only available to cloud customers and it needs automated AI platform based license. So it's now faster to create automation. I mean, it's again about the execution speed. Um, you get a process description, BPMN or PDD diagram. You, um, you feed that data to autopilot, autopilot analyzes the process and transform that into an automation. And uh, the end result is like you get a workflow, the process flow, our automation outlined um, and on that you can probably build on top of it now coming back to ai agent studio in ai agent studio we have got a couple of enhancements and features one such is third party rag so rag is nothing but retrieval augmented generation and it's a tool that helps ai model to understand and use your organization's information in a better way this helps to create more accurate and helpful output and avoid making mistakes. So that's now available. You can leverage it with that. You can use um, AWS knowledge base to build your AI skills that uses RAG. This makes AI agent smarter and things like that. So as you have more data to feed into to the AI agent, 
This can lead to higher productivity, faster problem solving and better results from automation. Then there's a the support for fine tuned model connections as well. You can create fine tuned models connection by customizing the supported foundational models. As you might be already aware that you have to test and fine tune. So it involves um, multiple uh, iterations, right? So you can, you can do that and then make it available to your professional developers for connecting to the AI skills. Thank you. These were the features in the latest dot 34 release. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.